This is meteorologist Mark Molnar from Meteomark.com and today is my the one year anniversary of my installation of my Vantage Pro Davis Vantage Pro 2 um, with soil moisture station and separate anemometer package transmitter. Um, let's take a look first at the console before we go outside. The Davis Vantage Pro 2 console this is where all the data is transmitted from, or uh, to, uh, I should say. And uh, it's a very nice unit. It uh, lights up very nice. It's connected to a Lenovo NetTop PC. Produce uh, consumes very um, little power and uh, doesn't uh, produce very much heat. So it's very quiet, very cool, and uh, comes with a 1.6 gigahertz. Intel Atom processor with uh, two gigabytes of memory. Um, so not a bad little unit to uh, house all of this um, data that's constantly being transmitted every one to two seconds to the Davis Vantage Pro 2 console. This is a one year anniversary of having the Davis Vantage Pro 2 and uh, my other weather station uh, that I had eight years was a Oregon Scientific WMR 968 but sometime during last year's flooding uh, we had 14 close to 14 inches of rain it uh, decided to kick out on me so I got the Davis Vantage Pro 2 you can see there's a you know, big spider web on it but uh, one year now from this date it's got the solar sensors it's got a heated rain gauge uh, Davis Vantage Pro 2 with the 24-hour uh, fan aspirated radiation shield, or they call it 24-hour uh, FARS. There's fan in there. It spins pretty much 24/7 when needed. It spins up and down as needed. Um, I had to uh, purchase the extra transmitter for the anemometer since it actually. Uh, can't be down here where it's lower. Um, it's actually uh, mounted up on the pipe, a venting pipe that actually sticks above the house. So nothing uh, measures anything that's solar and uh, transmits that down to the uh, base station in my room. Now take a look around the Tesla Davis Vantage Pro 2 anemometer. Go around the side of the house here. And I got one of these because we had uh, flooding last year. I have the, right on the side of the house here I have the Davis Vantage Pro 2 uh, soil moisture station. And this thing is uh, measuring, right now I've got two solar, solar moisture sensors and uh, two temperature sensors and they're both at uh, roughly the surface four inches and uh, six, 12 to 16 inches down. Now you got the leaf moisture sensor on top that measures leaf moisture, any moisture on top from a uh, moisture scale from zero to 15. So this is a very interesting little package here. You can actually see, you can uh, open it up, and inside you've got uh, all the connections. You get the backup lithium battery, and uh, batteries are actually fairly cheap. So Davis did a good, good pick at uh, picking those type of Duracell lithium. So they're not very expensive. You can get them on Amazon for in a bulk pack for pretty cheap. And these things close fairly easily. All these cables are buried down in via cable protectors. Now, uh, that pretty much does it. Uh, this is one year, I've had these out here for one year. So these, these have been surviving. They still look all brand new. So if you're thinking about purchasing one of these, I would highly recommend it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, right on top here is a solar radiation sensor. Unfortunately, as you can see, 
the morning sun is blocked out by these trees so I don't get a very accurate reading that's why I didn't spend the extra money to get a uh, UV sensor because those are upwards of $245 extra so yeah this is a fairly large unit you can see on the bottom um, but yeah this is uh, Davis Vantage Pro 2 going strong for a whole year now a year's worth of service now about two years two and a half years in I'm gonna have to think about either cleaning the fan or replacing the fan one or the other but I don't know what the condition of it is. I mean, there's a lot of dirt out here. You can see uh, underneath here. So, not too bad. Very, very nice unit. Highly recommend one of these. A lot better than my Oregon WMR968. So, this is, uh, and of course, most people don't have the uh, soil moisture station, but I purchased one because I live in I live in the west corner part of Endicott, and this area sustained severe flooding last year. Flooding all over west corners here. And the water table came way up, and pretty much we had running water everywhere. And backed up water, backed up all the streets. We had gushing water, and it was a mess. And the people that didn't get water in their first floors got water in their basements, almost to the rafters, so... This little unit, uh, it's been going strong for a year now. So, hope you enjoyed this video. It's the one year anniversary of my Oregon Scientific W, not W, uh, whatever the model number is, 64, 70, or however they name them. But uh, I kind of bought it in pieces, so not really complete model number. But it's the newer David's Vantage Pro 2. I'm uh, meteorologist Mark Milner for Meteomark.com. Uh, don't forget to like us on uh, Facebook, like this video, or subscribe to us on YouTube.